Welcome to R3D, Research and Deployment. Uh, today, as you can see, we have the uh, chicken coop footprint behind me, and we've just kind of eyeballed the basic dimensions. But today, I'm gonna show you guys how to square up the corner so you actually have a real true 94, 90 degree angles making up either a square, a rectangle. Um, this is how we also do big long runs with the gardens, we're gonna be doing an 80 by 40 foot garden. So we're gonna make sure everything is, is on the level. And so today is a cool little trick that uh, my dad taught me and uh, it's kind of been in the construction field and how to basically how to square up a corner. Okay, what we have here is one of the corners to my chicken coop. And we're gonna be using the three four five method we're basically we know the hypotenuse and we're just basically we want to find it nine degrees so is this leg gonna go this way a little bit or come in here we'll see so what we're gonna do from here I'm gonna cut an inch we're gonna mark the little line at four inches but it's really because like, I cut an inch I pulled it back here to be at three that one's gonna be three this one's gonna be four. Now remember, I'm cutting an inch to get a more precise measurement, right? That's actually right here. Now, if this is three inches, this is four inches, the hypotenuse should be five inches. Let's check it. Now I'm gonna cut an inch. Now when I say cutting an inch, that means I'm starting at the one inch marker because sometimes this is not a quite exact measurement and it's how to make your tape measure a little bit more exact. So let's do it, let's, let's measure it and see where we're at. Oop, we're pretty close, you're pretty close, huh? So if I would come all the way back, it's about five inches, I'm cutting an inch. And we're not too bad, we're just a little bit off. Let me try this. Let me just try moving it just a little bit. Let's see if this made a difference in it. Ooh, that's right on the money right there. So I know that if I do the same technique using three inches as one of my legs of my triangle, four inches as another leg of my triangle, and I already know the hypotenuse, we know that A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And since I already know my numbers, it's a quick way to find a 90 degree angle and make sure that is a perfectly square, it is a perfectly 90 degree angle. I do it to this one, I do it to the other one and the other three sides and I will get my exact angles that I need. Okay, well we learned that the squaring up the corner using the 3-4-5 method is going to be probably the best way for the down and dirty getting it done. We also went ahead and leveled that a little bit and went ahead and roughly put out the blocks we're going to be using for the foundation. So I'll show you a little bit what we did. Okay, well we've used the larger pavers here where the footprint of the chicken coop is going to go. Obviously they're going to be going scooting in a lot more. We had to do a little bit of leveling first and probably a little bit more leveling, but she gives you the rough idea of where the chicken coop is going to go in this area. You can see the little tiny little line right in here will be the, where the chicken coop itself stops. But it'll be three feet off the ground. We're gonna have a little Dutch door in here. So I'll be burying all this, making this little nice little walkway to throw food scraps inside the run. And the run will be finished off with some of these just bricks, just for a little bit of foundation and stability. And not much will be needed on there. So this is kind of a rough idea We'll be getting these in the ground, getting these all leveled up, but we have pretty much an idea of what we're trying to do. Well, thank you for watching. This was another little production of uh, R3D, Research and Deployment. Slow working on the chicken coop, getting the foundations done, and we'll start showing you more as we get progress. Please like, share, subscribe, and thank you for following along with us as we're rocking and rolling on our chicken coop.